guys welcome back to my channel oh my god i just stabbed myself so in today's video we are going to be doing it my no makeup makeup looks so there are actually a lot of steps we are going to start off with the skin i want my face to look snatched since i'm not gonna be wearing foundation or anything like that after the tutorial i'm actually going to be vlogging my day i'm gonna take you guys with me on my errands and yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get started as usual the products will be listed down below do not forget to like and subscribe and let's go ahead and get started Okay, so I went ahead and I washed my face. This is currently my favorite um, face cleanser. This is the Murad Hydration Prebiotic 4-in-1 Multi Cleanser. It is freaking bomb. You guys have to try it if you haven't. Um, this is actually my second bottle. I finished the first one. It is super, super bomb. But after I finish my face, I'm actually going to first start off with my mist. I have been using this, I think, for like over a year now. It is the Sweet Chef Ginger Kombucha Vitamin D Chill Mist. And for my signature routine, I go from the thinnest layer to the thickest layer. So I start off with mist first. Mm. I actually just got this cute little fan. Oh my god, I feel so bougie with it. This is from Batty B Lashes. It's pink and it's... Oh wow, it has more setting. Period. So now we are going to move on to serums. I just recently discovered this serum and I am obsessed with it. This is the Copper Amino Isolate Serum 2 in 1. So this bad boy is actually a little bit expensive. It is $70, but I have been obsessed with it and I just got it. It just makes my skin look so healthy and just firm and kind of like supple. I don't know how to explain it, but it is like this dark blue color. I was a little bit freaked out at first. Actually, let me shake it first. Um, this actually comes in two little bottles and you have to mix them to create it this is what it looks like it's very runny but a little goes a long way um it has a lot of benefits the main benefit is that it boosts collagen it is repairing all the dead skin cells it's producing new collagen and it also has hyaluronic acid it has copper peptides i used to have two serums that i used all the time which was hyaluronic acid and copper peptide but this one is basically both of them in one and it is so freaking good i use this every single morning every single night and i've already noticed a difference um my skin was just looking a little bit dull and just like kind of like just dry and just not normal so but once i started using this it like brought it back to life next we're moving on to under eye cream this is the dermalogica by Oleum CI Serum. Freaking bomb. So I'm gonna be applying some under my eyes. And I actually just discovered that you're not supposed to apply under eye cream every single day. So I like to use under eye cream every other day or if I have like a photo shoot. You know when you get like those little dots under here? If you ever wonder what they were, they're called moisture bubbles. Um, that just means that you're applying too much moisture under your eyes. Next, I'm going to be applying my favorite, 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 favorite lip mask of all. This is the Laneige Sleeping Mask. And this is, I think, oh yeah, this is vanilla. If you guys haven't tried it, oh my god, this is so freaking bomb. It keeps my lips moisturized all day. This You're actually supposed to apply this at nighttime. It's a sleeping mask, but I like to apply it uh, literally as much as I can. I'm actually moving on to my favorite moisturizer. If I'm not going to be wearing makeup and I need to lock in the moisture, I will use this one. This is from Drunk Elephant. So this is actually a protein moisturizer. Um, it provides peptides, growth factors, supportive amino acids, and it's just, it has a lot of good benefits. This is so cool because you go like this and then it just pops out. I make sure to bring it down my neck. Don't forget your eyebrows because my eyebrows do tend to get dry. I actually make sure to get my entire neck. You don't want to neglect your neck. <laughs> you don't want to neglect your neck. You don't want to be like a viejita and you've been doing your skincare routine for years and then your neck is looking like a freaking turkey. So do not neglect the neck. So now I'm going to go in with my gua sha. I think that's what it's called. I've used this on my stories multiple times. I will have it linked down below. But basically, this just helps with the water retention. I, I feel like I have a little bit of water retention here. So I straight up just go in. I like to do it 10 times on this side and then 10 times on the other side. And then I go down here with this one little vein. And can you guys see that? It already looks more snatched. The more you do it as as part of your daily routine, the more results you will see. Um, you can also do it right here on the cheeks. I don't really like to do it on my cheeks just because I feel like it doesn't really make a difference here. 
but I do like to use it on my jaw Especially if I like drank the night before my face looks a little bit bloated. This helps out a lot I'll have this link down below if you guys want to try it out, which I highly recommend you do so It's just like a, an extra step in my skincare routine and it does make a difference. Oh my god. Can you hear the difference Amanda? Ah, no, hello <laughs> You can kind of hear okay, so now we're gonna move on to eyebrows my eyebrows are my favorite part of my routine now I went ahead and I bought this little pack of spoolies from Amazon It was very very inexpensive and then I'm gonna get my got to be glue. I just recently did my okay So my cousin is with me right now. I'm gonna say hi, hi. <laughs> You wave at the camera so they can see you're so cute. She had been complimenting my eyebrows a lot and She's like, what did you do differently blah blah and I was like girl it's 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 this it's it's the wig glue and one day she asked me if i could try it on her and i was like yeah sure yo we did her eyebrows and it looks so bomb i'm literally it's so easy but we're going to create the laminated feather brows the illusion so i'm gonna get a little bit of glue kind of spread it out don't be shy zoom in oh my god it looks so weird so i'm gonna get the glue and i'm gonna start to do upward motions like this and I know it looks a little bit crazy at first okay once you have that shape you're gonna go in and you're going to just clean them up this is probably the hardest part just because I'm so picky with the shape but you guys see how it's just like and then um, you can go back in and fill in the little sparse areas with any product that you want it could be a, a brow pencil a little liner pen can honestly be anything it just instantly lifts your face okay and then now i'm gonna do this one i find that this eyebrow is harder to do i don't know why and this is usually my super snatch brow but i find that this one's harder to do so obviously my eyebrows are not sisters we've been through this they are cousins but here are the final results now I'm just going to let them dry so they can set in place. But I'm now going to crimp my eyelashes. This is the new crimper from Body B Lashes. It is a really cute pink one. Oh my god, do you guys want to see my old one? <laughs> it was this mermaid one, but um, it was actually too bulky. So this was perfect. I'm just going to go ahead and crimp my eyelashes. So I have two eyelash primers that I love. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. This one is on the inexpensive side and then this one's a little bit more expensive this is the dior maximizer 3d wow my eyelashes are growing so healthy i'm literally just going to add this primer i find that primer on the eyelashes just helps out a lot especially if you want to make them look longer so now i'm going to be using the brand new hourglass unlock mascara it's pretty good i love the wand on it i'm just going to be doing a couple coats of this So here is the difference in the mascara. So while the mascara is drying, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little tiny bit of actually foundation. This is in the shade Fiji, which is the exact same color as my skin. And I'm using this hourglass brush. It actually has no number on it, but it's just kind of a little bit um, slanted. I'm gonna grab a little bit. And I'm just going to be applying a little bit just on the inner corners. And then I'm gonna kind of bring it upward. Just kind of lifts up the eye a little bit. So our face is already looking, you know, a little snatched. And now I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Roller Liner. This one is the brown one. And I'm going to just create a little wings. I just want it to lift my eye up a little bit more. I don't want it to be too visible, but I still want to see the little flick. In pictures, it looks really, really nice. In one picture, I wasn't wearing eyeliner, and then in this picture, I was wearing the eyeliner. It kind of gives you more of that cat eye effect, and I feel like it gives you like that Bella Hadid, like very like snatched look. I don't like to put the brown liner in the inner corner. I feel like it's a little bit too intense. The liner compared to um, like this little brow pen. Do you see the difference? This one's like more sheer, more natural, and I like to use this one on the inner corners of my eyes. So literally just do a little flick. And then last but not least, I'm going to be getting some highlighter. This one is the color pop on the cusp. I want it to look like it's coming within. And since this is not a, um, a powder highlighter, it will literally look like it's just your skin. Just make sure you really 
blend it in. So this in the sun will look really, really nice. Look very glowy and dewy. All right, guys, and there we have it. This is literally my no makeup makeup look. Anytime that I'm in a rush or I just don't want to wear like full beat face of makeup, this is my go-to. It's very natural and I just love the way it looks. It just makes my skin look super fresh and dewy and the brows and lashes are just everything for me and I think it looks so freaking nice. <gasps> oh my God, Amanda. I'm sorry, did I just scare you? <laughs> Y'all, we deadass had two earthquakes. We had one at four in the morning. It was actually four, four, four. And I was like, Amanda, we're having an earthquake. And she's like, half asleep. She's like, what is going on? It was so scary. Everything was just shaking. And then the second one was that like, it took us a while to go back to sleep a little bit, huh? We were like on our phone for a while. I ran to Twitter and everybody was like talking about the earthquake and stuff. And we fell back asleep. Bitch, another one hit at like six in the morning. And this one, I was just kind of like, Amanda, we're having another earthquake. Oh shit. I was like, Amanda, we're having another earthquake. And she was like, we both just look at each other. We're like, eh, we just went back to sleep. But um, that was crazy, y'all. I had never experienced two earthquakes. Actually, yeah, I have. But I was very glad that I wasn't by myself this time because last one was by myself and I was pretty shook. But that was scary. It was a 4.5, bitch. The San Andreas said, I'm gonna give y'all two earthquakes right before we get into August. It's also Leo season, and every time Leo season comes around, I just feel spectacular. I feel impeccable. I just feel like that bitch. I don't know why. Do I have Leo in me? I don't know if I have Leo in me. Having said all that, right now, I'm just gonna go change, and I'll see you guys in a little bit video i want to go ahead and show you guys my updated makeup collection i showed my snap fam and my instagram fam but i wanted to show you guys these containers are from the container store these are actually supposed to be for shoes but i sorry for the alarm i use these for my makeup i actually got these new ones in the wrong size but i actually like the way it looks i don't think it looks that bad i spent hours with my cousin organizing this and i'm so proud of it here i separated my beauty blenders from color to nudes we have all of my Batty B lashes. We have my MAC lipsticks, which is something I'm very proud of. Y'all, we had an earthquake last night and like my drawers all came out, but they still stay put. So these are like earthquake approved, okay? But um, we move over here and then we have my wigs. And then this is another favorite part of my room. This little overview. I also went ahead and organized all of my makeup palettes. It is so aesthetically pleasing. And then I have some more palettes down here. I have some packaging that I kept from some collections. Those are actually palettes as well. They're pretty cute. And then up here I have my Daisy Marquez palettes just in case some guests come over and they want to take one, they can. You up here is my brush collection. And then up here I have some achievements. We have when I went on tour, my Milani collection. These actually got sent to me by a company in PR. This is another PR from Benefit. This was my palette. This is Laura's collaboration with some of my favorite people. We have one of my magazines over there. And then we also have that little frame from Benefit. Up there I just have this like PR lipstick thing that I didn't want to throw away. And then we come over here. Okay, and then this is the background of my YouTube videos. Up here you have my perfumes. And then down here we have these books that I bought off of Etsy. This candle is from Target. It is so freaking pretty. Here I have a picture of... Let me focus it of my best friends we have shelby grace Tallulah, maria and then tina bobina you move down here and we have my 100k plaque from youtube my ai influencer awards i mean my aia influencer award and then we have the 1 million plaque down here i just have some jewelry and then some pr boxes and then this over here actually is my little studio vanity thingy whatever you want to call it this i like to put my phone excuse that that's all like new pr but um i put my phone here this is from amazon it's actually pretty convenient i just like to play music or when i'm doing my instagram lives on there oh my gosh that noise we have my makeup brushes my lash collection and then this is from beauty creations that's honestly like one of the best creations ever i just need to organize them and then over here oh my gosh actually let me turn this on this is so cute how cute is that i'm over here just giving you guys a full beauty room tour but I, I don't think i've ever shown you guys my let me put the light over here my beauty room before this is also from amazon i just have like a bunch of jewelry my watches i have some perfumes 
more jewelry over here and then we have her <laughs> little jk but anyways yeah that's a little overview of my makeup room How freaking dope is this table? At night, it's a little bit scary, not gonna lie. But this is a vintage coffee table and I just fucking live for it. I thought it was only one Panther or Jaguar, I don't know what it is, but it's actually two. Um, I put this Tom Ford book from Etsy. I got this little balloon dog from Amazon. I think it looks super cute. And then this book I actually just got from the thrift store. It is 100 Years of Hollywood. And I opened it up to my favorite chapter, which is Leading Ladies. It has like a lot of um, icons in here, like Marilyn Monroe. And it's just like a really good book. I think it looks literally so freaking good. Also just bought that neon sign as well. That is also from... Amazon, I believe, and then that is from Etsy, I believe. But um, yeah, I just wanted to show you guys. I think it looks so freaking dope. All right, guys, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll be seeing you in my next video. Bye, guys.